we have a very special doctor here joining with us we have dr viru praksha joining us so i want you all to welcome him dr viru praksha is um, a dnd in psychiatry and he's a consultant psychiatrist at dr av baliga memorial hospital sir has been involved in public awareness programs related to mental health through public talks tv and radio talks he has authored over 7 books in kannad in kannad and uh, on the importance of uh, in relationships and parenting so let's call upon dr viru praksha over to you sir thank you arundhati thank you for that introduction and uh, what i appreciate is uh, your ability to catch up each topic and introduce each doctor and communicate it very well i want all the students who are uh, attending this program uh, you have to learn this art of communication so more than anything whether you take up engineering or medical or you become teachers you, what you are uh, seeing from uh, uh, miss arundhati is the wonderful thing that to communicate well despite taking whatever the speciality unless we communicate it well we will not be recognized and our work don't get enough uh, opportunities so throughout this science utsav uh, services what you are seeing is they are able to communicate the skills they have so it's the first learning to all of you and uh, happy valentines day to all of you hope you have been uh, uh, celebrating uh, valentines day today and uh, the best valentine of your life should be who you yourself so you should be the best valentine of yourself you should be the person who loves and likes and be proud of yourself if you are proud of yourself if you start uh, liking yourself there will be less chances that you will ask plead others for you know you will become people pleaser that am i right did i do right thing did i do some mistakes can i achieve this can i not achieve this will i be able to do this so you will be always in self doubt so first thing first step is to love yourself whatever may the, may be the your past many a times we keep on uh, telling our old stories i didn't have a good childhood my parent did didn't treat me well i didn't have enough uh, facilities to learn well but what is in your hand is reparenting forget about all the past you can share those things with the experts with your teachers and mental health professionals and you can start reparenting yourself you can help yourself to have a better tomorrow yesterday was not in your hands but today and tomorrow is in your hands so with this brief introduction we'll move on to today's uh, topic whether we can be live very happily in our teenage whether we can make it happy or whether to make ourselves very stressful what do you what do you feel whether a teenage is very joyful or stressful definitely it is joyful right we all are happy and uh, the company of friends and uh, hostel life residential care and meeting parents going for movies studying participating in competitions having extra curricular activities and what not but when it becomes stressful only when we are not able to handle the normal variations of teenage there will be enough variations because we are we were all that all these years we were small children now we are growing up to be the uh, teenagers so there is small gap we were you know all the time covered by our parents teachers that she is a small girl she is a small girl and we have to take cover all of a sudden out of the blue they started telling that you have grown up can't you understand this at your age we were doing that this and all suddenly they start seeing you as grown ups so you are under confusion whether i am small girl or grown up so the of course these uh, uh, paper cuttings are in canada let me just tell you it's about you know the teenagers committing suicide teenagers are getting into high risk uh, sexual behaviors teenagers are getting into pregnancy teenagers are getting into pornography why it happens why teenagers are under pressure as i was telling you all the time that parents see you as a terror okay oh god if she comes if she is in the house nobody can talk she will just create mess 
and uh, you know only to friends she can talk to parents she is a terror so it becomes uh, our identity all of a sudden during teenage it changes everyone start feeling that you know we are angry young women right so to outsiders we look like sharks very dangerous very strong and powerful but inside we know that we are very shy we are very scared we have lot of confusions about our future we don't know we scared of our exams we feel very bad when our friends don't talk to us we feel very betrayed when parents you know give importance to other siblings so inside we are that shy goldfish but to outside if someone talks to us suddenly we blow out of the way and show our anger so teenagers need help right but when we need help we should be able to vocalize it we should be able to express our feelings whether we get a chance to express or we can write to it whether it can be teacher or a parent or a elder sister or elder brother you have to share this is teenage adolescent brain that there are a lot of things there is very very small place for uh, a self image very small creativity part and uh, very small area for uh, our personality developments and all but very big uh, rebellion center it's the first time we were and uh, start saying back to our parents all these days very goody goody girl papa says i'll do mama says i'll do uh, nani says i'll do now for the first time why i should do i'll do what i want so it's the first age of teenage when we are stepping into teenage we start feeling that i want autonomy i want something which i chose and you are not wrong but where the issue comes what i choose to do parents don't agree with that and the conflict starts what what should we do doctor is telling that we are right to choose autonomy whatever you want to do you want to do you can do but parent do object it why this conflict occurs because we don't sit and explain them that why i need this parents don't explain us that why they are objecting it so the trouble comes why this trouble comes there are other uh, exposures other uh, uh, things uh, i'll not go into that details yeah i want this slide so you can see our brain into four lobes we know that our brain has four lobes you have studied in biology frontal lobe parietal lobe occipital lobe and temporal lobe understood you know this and what is interesting is this prefrontal cortex what you are seeing we call it as pfc prefrontal cortex to be in very simple ways the part in the forehead where we put our stickers bindi and all so this portion is prefrontal cortex this portion of the brain inside so all other part brain majority of the part is grown almost when we are in the mother womb and secondary maturation this brain again one more layer of myelin sheath gets covered throughout the central nervous system during our teenage so what is important is while in teenage we should not get into serious emotional trauma serious physical abuse serious uh, issues with substance abuse like smoking tobacco drugs alcohol these should, these things should not enter in our teenage and road traffic accidents are head injury because these things damage these secondary maturation of the brain so this secondary maturation usually occurs around teenage that is affected by the hormones that are secreted during the teenage as we know that our bodily changes has to occur because small boy is now becoming adult and small girl was becoming adult so that changes is taken care by the hormonal secretion and these hormones have secondary influence our on our emotional brain so during this teenage because of this hormonal influence we tend to be little cranky little impulsive little fluctuations in our moods so parents don't understand that all of a sudden she is becoming cranky she is becoming crazy she is angry for no reason but this is the issue and the second part is prefrontal cortex 
he is completely formed only after 18 to 22 so till we are 22 prefrontal cortex is not functioning completely so what is the function of this prefrontal cortex this prefrontal cortex is like a manager this is right this is wrong this is dangerous this is safe you do this next you do this this is good for you this is not good for you you have so much of risk in it you better take better decision all these guidance is given to us by this prefrontal cortex organization planning of events all these things occur by prefrontal cortex so it's a uh, that uh, leader of of the orchestra prefrontal cortex but sadly this prefrontal cortex is formed completely only after 18 to 22 that's how we are allowed to get married after 18 now 21 we are getting this uh, voting license after 18. Why? Why can't ninth standard child go and uh, give voting? Because what is right and what is wrong is not decided now. But the uh, reward system that is in the emotional brain, which we call as limbic system, you are seeing in the other slide on the right side, you are seeing nucleus accumbens, ventral tegmental area, VTA. So these parts are reward system. These parts will force us to get what we want. Okay. If I dance, I feel good. In this part of the nucleus accumbens, the dopamine is increased. If I smoke, I feel good. This part of the brain tells you to smoke more and more. If I watch some uh, uh, video games, this part of the brain is very active and it makes you to feel good and make it again and again. So your reward system is already ready in teenage, but how much to do? Suppose if I'm uh, playing Free Fire or PUBG, how long I should be in that online game? If I'm watching pornography, how long I should be in that? Whether I should watch it or not? If I'm in social media, whether I'm permitted to do it or not? So these sort of decisions is taken by prefrontal cortex, which is not at form. So the conflict between elders, teachers and the teenagers comes here. Till our prefrontal cortex is formed, our parents take care of the role of prefrontal cortex. So whatever is good for us, when they tell it, we feel very bad. Okay. Even when we were in ninth standard and 10th standard, we were feeling that all these teachers, wardens and house masters are against us. They are of old timers. They don't understand our feelings. Now, after 25 years of finishing ninth standard, now we go back in search of those teachers who are putting too much of restrictions to us. When we are uh, in odd times, we go out of the ways, go out of the campus or uh, meet uh, the friends of opposite sex in, uh, you know, outside the campus. So there were too many restrictions. But now looking back, we feel that, oh, that time the prefrontal cortex was our house wardens, our teachers or our parents. So we were getting angry on them. So now the issue, we know that teenagers have a lot of anger issues. We, are, we get very angry on those people who restrict us. That is because the genetics we have and the emotional problems. When we are sad, upset, see an adult clearly tells I am sad, please help me. But a teenager, if he is upset, if she is upset, she is angry. She doesn't eat well. She is not sleeping well. She cannot concentrate on studies. So it's only by indirect evidence we should know that she needs help. Otherwise, teenagers, when they are depressed, when they are anxious, there are more chances that they are irritable. They are angry. They are uh, you know fighting with everyone. They are having uh, no good um, long-lasting relationships with parents and friends. So even those people who are angry and not making good friends, we need to be empathetic towards them and make friends with them. It is the people who need most love ask for it in un most unloving ways. The most angry people need your love and affection. Always we feel try to you know uh, uh, go away from them, right? And nutritional. See, you are all in ninth standard. Many times we get the feeling that I should not eat well. 
i should, i will become uh, you know fat i will become moti i want to look good i want to have a zero figure and in the bargain we will have many nutritional deficiencies see earlier nutritional deficiency was linked with only poverty now it's not the poverty it is zero figure maintenance i want to become like so and so so and so and all okay so but if you are studying well you want to remember everything you should have good nutritious food you cannot skip breakfast and go to classes because the very term breakfast is break the fast night 8 o'clock we had dinner and morning 8 o'clock you have to have breakfast every day there is quarrel in the house mother is angry wo kuch khana nahi nahi khati so that is the biggest problem with us but if you are student you can never skip your breakfast even on the day of exam you should have good breakfast and go because 3 hours you need glucose your brain works on glucose so if you don't eat well in the class suppose breakfast you didn't have first 2 hours before lunch kuch bhi yaad nahi rehta so you will forget everything whatever you are listening in the class so better don't skip breakfast second thing is after teenage you are by 9th 10th standard slowly uh, some of you will start having menstruation and uh, during menstruation there will be some loss of blood of course it should not be a serious one but to compensate extra nutrition you should tend to eat more iron containing green leafy vegetables all grains you should eat nutritional i want to eat uh, gobi manchuri i want to eat uh, palak paneer da, those things eating outside stuff will not give nutrition it is homemade boiled food give you nutrition why nutrition why i am not a nutrition specialist but many of the mood symptoms are just because you have iron deficiency many of the academic challenges are just because you are having some adenoids you are having tonsillitis you are having repeated uh, immunodeficiencies allergies just because you are not eating well in the classroom commonly complaining that i have headache 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 i am not participating in any sports i feel dull and somebody take you to psychiatrist that you are depressed it is only because you are having anemia and you are not eating well many physical problems hearing difficulties vision difficulties many times that may present as behavioral problems because we don't understand that nutrition is so important i was having problem ninth standard i re- related to my specs it's the first time in ninth standard when i got specs but till then i was not aware that i cannot see blackboard well i was taking repeatedly mistakes so i used to lose marks with that but very late i realized that i cannot see blackboard well then i realized i went for checkup so our hearing capacity and vision should be all right if there is problem there is no hesitation to wear specs there is no hesitation to take help for these things so studies conducted in different part of the world tells us that the behavioral and emotional problems in teenage ranges from 16 to 40% in a classroom if there are 100 the teenagers there is at least 16 to 40% of the people need help so in india it is up to 50% but actually we don't take help it presents like i am not happy nobody loves me i feel alone i don't have friends my parents don't love me i don't get good the sleep i often feel that i better you know uh, die i i want to leave home and go uh, i think my parents and siblings nobody loves me so these sort of emotional uh, issues will be going on nobody realizes that i can take help for these things i can share these things so teenagers often we suffer that identity crisis at least someone should like me no one likes me i am not good looking i am not tall i am not fat and who is that miss uh, universe this year you might have observed her arna sandu how she came up when everyone was teaching her that you are skinny you are bony and she took it as very sporty thing that i will not concentrate for my external beauty i will improve my internal beauty have you ever heard uh, mother teresa going on ramp walk she ever participated competed for miss universe no but today 
no one remembers miss universe names but everyone remembers mother teresa's name it is only because the inner beauty so we have to constantly improve our self esteem find out what is good in us and improve on that of course all of us have some weaknesses i get angry very fast i forget very fast i keep procrastinating i am very poor in uh, spoken english i get scared to use stage i don't participate in stage there are weaknesses make a list of all weaknesses you have and every day one by one start working on each weakness by the end of one week you will be overcoming one weaknesses by end of one month you will be a better person compared to last month so compare yourself with yourself one month ago one year ago don't compare with our other others so identity crisis often can take us to very positive heights okay i want to be liked by all i want to achieve something i want to prove something you that will make you a singer that will make you a dancer that will make you a musician that will make you a spokesperson at the same time you need not get into negative identity okay i don't have my own identity i will smoke i will have identity i will have a boyfriend even in the you know early stages and my boyfriend takes me around in very posh cars and he spends me lakhs of rupees on me i will have identity i will start uh, using the beer and i start drinking i will have my own party friends and i will show off so you need not get into negative identity i have facebook account and i have 400 followers you need not have such identity you, you have enough of opportunities to build your own identity in your talents what you have some can relate yourself in good studies music dance sports anything possible every one of you blessed with one identity you have to choose and improve at the same time you need to work on your weaknesses there will be enough pressure by peers do this do this do that do this and all so there is always possible yes friends are very important part of life at the same time friends should not pull you into bad track okay you are sitting and studying and a friend comes and tells see that boy is looking at you i think he is having crush on you he is looking at he is having an eye on you slowly you know he, she is making you more uh, intense in that feeling rather than she understanding that she is disturbing your studies so peer pressure can be definitely you know good to you being in sports being in studies being in entertainment at the same time when you are yielding to too much of peer pressure you have started maintaining secrets with your parents secrets with your teachers it should warn you that you should not yield to peer pressure especially getting into smoking alcohol drugs say no so if that comes if a friend is forcing you to uh, going for a party or uh, getting into drugs before you are 18 you say goodbye to that friend or explain him that it is not good for you also so try to come out of that so inferiority as we were telling that all doctors who spoke to you they are not you know all the in 24 they have become doctors and engineers over the time and uh, if i look back in our 8th standard 9th standard we had all the inferiority what you had we had fear to go on stage we had fear to talk to teachers we had fear to talk to public but navodaya schools can be the best form to give you enough opportunities it give opportunities to use stage it give opportunities to use the assembly to read newspapers no where else you'll get enough of opportunities we had week long competitions during the november and all library week and all and each day there is singing recitation drawing art sports everything so each uh, part gives opportunity to use it well so find out yourself where you are good at you may be good at art uh, uh, either art architecture or articulture fine you love yourself and start working on it and uh, as i told you compare yourself from last year week if you are better than last week forget it don't compare with others so slowly you can overcome all the fears that you have you have to tell yourself i have come on stage for myself let others laugh at me i don't care i want to talk well they are looking at me let them look at me i don't bother 
today i will write and speak next time i will speak extempor i don't bother whether people laugh at them let them keep laughing at me i will only look at in the eyes of my teacher or my good friend i will not look at other sides so slowly you will overcome all these fears gender identity confusion arundhati was right many times we have some confusions many things we cannot share with teachers we cannot share with parents and we remain with many confusions especially things like gender identity confusion uh, the issues with sexual orientation am i a boy am i a girl whether i am behaving like a boy whether i am behaving like a girl whether it is right for me to be behave like this so if these things are disturbing too much consult the psychologist nearby or school counselor or a mental health professional nearby to ease your confusions that will reduce your confusion otherwise throughout the confusions you will not be able to focus on your studies sibling rivals at this time many times we will be feeling that parents have put to uh, put us into residential school our younger siblings are nicely happily enjoying with parents parents don't like us so they have put us here no we start feeling like that because now parents want us good many times younger ones are close to parents that doesn't mean that they don't like us whatever they are doing to the younger siblings have already done to us but we don't remember that so they would have even loved us more than the younger ones but it always we feel that parents scold us and the younger ones they like so you need to understand if you have more difficulties we can explain on this but what is sibling rivalry is a child feels that my younger brother or younger sister is loved more than me by my parents they don't like me it is there in every us not only your problem it's there in the every us so you should understand that not every parents dislike their child it's only the concept of sibling rivalry we feel that my brother and sister are liked more my parents so you are the wonderful creature on this world you are the best gift given by the god to your parents so you cannot be very ordinary you are excellent don't be ashamed of yourself by comparing with others so if you are comparing with others you are not respecting yourself okay academic pressures understand that just reading is not sufficient there are many other causes there can be physical causes there can be uh, iq uh, related issues developmental problems emotional problems and inattention and over activity many times we are good at studies we can tell orally but when we are made to write many times we make mistakes we can have learning difficulties those of you who are repeatedly making spelling mistake those of you who cannot you know who will have a lot of red ink marks in your book you cannot understand maths but you are very good in language or you are having lot of problems in language you do lot of mistakes in languages you cannot write even one language correctly but you are very good in science and science utsa you are always getting inspirer award so there can be learning difficulties please identify this and take help for that and emotional problems like depression anxiety ocd ocd depression you can understand that feeling low feeling crying spells and not getting good sleep not having good appetite earlier you used to enjoy the company of friends and watching tv and participating in all the sports now you are not interested in anything so it can be sign of depression that you are low for more than 2 weeks take help anxiety disorder feeling keyed up feeling always fearful feeling tense during exams having lot of dysfunction butterflies in the stomach and uh, you forget everything before the exams anxiety problems you can take help from your school counselor ocd repeatedly checking whatever i have written repeatedly reading whatever i have read repeatedly checking the door knobs repeatedly checking the taps repeatedly checking the light switches so whatever we are doing re- doing repeatedly exam anxiety fear of forgetting everything fear of going blank fear of losing marks fear of getting scolded and that increases more anxiety and make you lose marks so when you are going to exams tell yourself that i have done my duty i have uh, studied i have attended exams i have revised now only thing left is just go and write okay adhd i will just mention and move on so adhd is some of you are very good in extracurricular activities but you cannot sit 
for 10 minutes in classroom, your mind starts wandering. So it is lack of attention, hyperactivity and impulsivity. Many times just treating this condition increases your concentration and you can you know, do well in your studies. So just not doing well in studies cannot be the only reason that you are dullard. There are emotional problems. There is inattention problem. There is lack of interest problems, procrastination issues. So all those things can be helped to improve your academic performance. And last but not the least, very sadly, every year we lose thousands of youngsters, especially the teenagers. The highest number of suicides occurs between the age of 15 to 29. That is the age you are going on now. So why it happens is unnecessarily, we have a lot of emotional problems. We have stress related to academics and peer pressures and uh, we don't know where to share or we are ashamed of sharing with others. Okay, so feel that whenever some of you, your friends are telling that I want to die, I don't want to live, I feel it is better off dead and uh, your classmates are writing some uh, suicide death notes in their class notes, take it seriously and report it to your class teacher. Don't ever think that your friend will feel bad, otherwise if you feel that your friend will feel bad and you don't report, you may miss your friend, okay? So all, all the persons who are committing suicide, actually they would have given warning signals before committing suicide. That is very important. No person dies just like that. You would have given enough warning signals two, three times at least that I want to die. I don't want to live. Please help me. So suicide is a sign of help for cry, cry for help, okay? So you can help. You can take this sentence by Rogers, when I was a boy and I would be scary on the news everywhere, that everywhere things are bad. And my mother used to tell that, ask for helpers, look for helpers. So you understand that there are many problems in the world, in the hostel, with friends, with the exams. But at the same time, you have people to help you also. Don't get discouraged. Find out who can help you, your friend, your teacher, your warden, your parent, anybody. Don't ever get into trap of drugs because I'm telling you, once you get into this trap, very, very, very difficult to get you out of it. So don't ever try it for curiosity also. Don't ever try that. I want to be equal to boys and I want to drink alcohol. I want to try once and see what happens and all. At least till you are 18 to 22, don't try because the first use before 22, high risk of developing dependence. Sir, can I try after 22? You are an adult to think what is right and what is wrong for you. I will not be there. Shashank sir will not be there. Arundhiti madam will not be there to stop you. So you can choose after 22, but till 22, it is my earnest request. Don't try tobacco. Don't try uh, alcohol. And don't get into too much of uh, social media because as I told it, like alcohol and smoking, it increases dopamine in your reward system, makes you to uh, watch more and more but you have to be cyber safe girl. Nowadays, many girls are getting trapped with frauders. They take your personal details. They, you, you feel that is very close to you. You share all your intimate photos and you never know when you get into problem. Please do not share your personal photos. Yes, you can share your photos on social media with your friends and all, but make sure that you don't upload too many of your single photos because it can be morphed and people use it to blackmail you later. You will not even realize who is doing that. So for to be a cyber safe girl, don't spend too much of time on social media. The likes and comments that on Instagram and social media doesn't decide your worth. Okay. You have at least two, three real friends in real life. That gives you a lot of satisfaction. Having 400 uh, likes in Instagram really will not make any difference. When 400 likes come down to 40, you will go into terrible depression. Rather than that, you do drawing, you do a craft, you do a dance, you learn a new song. That increases natural dopamine in your brain. That will give you special identity. And one small request, your personal spaces, your body spaces, four areas we identify as your personal spaces, lips, chest, and part between the thighs, front and back. 
four areas lips chest and part between the thighs it is your personal spaces don't ever allow any persons to touch this without your permission so you are the warrior you are the self security person unless you are, you permit nobody can touch but if someone is crossing the boundaries and trying to touch your personal spaces just scream scare them that i'll scream and tell teacher in the class or if you are at a uh, day scholar you tell that i will tell my parent all the uh, these uh, uh, people who are uh, involved in sexual abuse are taking lot of time to uh, groom they will give you gifts they will give you chocolate they will give you costly birthday gifts and they make friendship with you and they will make you so helpless that you don't deny them to cooperate but the sexual abuse during teenage will leave a long impression on our mind will make you prone to many other emotional problems later so your safety is in your hands don't allow anyone to touch your personal spaces the personal spaces is covered by the swimming suit so that four parts take care of yourself thanks for your time and special thanks to the science utsav team and special thanks to uh, shashank and arundhati for this opportunity to talk to you all thank you so much dr viru praksha that was such an amazing and important note to end our third day today i mean you you all must take note sir has raised and sir has actually you know talked about some really important issues that we need to really take care of right now in whatever you know scenario we all are living in i hope that you all have really listened to him properly and uh, dr viru praksha we have one or two questions from the kids that we would quickly like to discuss and then uh, we will uh, conclude so um, some of the uh, students have said uh, repeatedly asked few questions on their increasing anxiety social anxiety issues that they face during the during teenage so how to address that how to what to do about it if you could answer that okay see social anxiety is what when with parents i talk when with close friends roommates i talk only when i go on stage or only when teachers ask me questions or only when four or five people are there i get scared see the hallmark the key point in uh, social anxiety is fear of negatively being evaluated we feel that i am not good looking uh, my expressions are changing people find fault with me and all then from that day onwards you try to change your thought that why anybody should see me why anybody should look at me don't i they don't have better job why would they observe me all the time and also understand that even the best spokesperson in the world you name anyone everyone had social anxiety everyone had stage fear it's only the repeated use of stage they felt themselves that today i'll go stand there even if i'm not able to talk i will just stand there and come back i will tell myself good today you made you dare to go on stage and come today i'll go there and two minutes i'll use i will ask teacher teacher today there is a program can i do welcome speech can i do vote of thanks can i just give rose to the guest i want to go on stage you have to choose this nobody will call you otherwise you will sit and uh, teacher don't like me she give opportunity to only show us any they don't call me lot of partiality in this school no you should ask you should create opportunity for yourself so you went on stage people laughed at you but you tell yourself out of 600 girls only six of them gave names for a speech competition and i was one among them so i am the best among six best six students among the 600 students so you tell yourself good and every week you change yourself amazing amazing now one last question doctor uh, everyone has been asking this question a lot is that they find themselves overthinking about stuff a lot and i i'll be honest i do that even till date so how can i uh, you know do something about it overthinking is something that we deal for a very long period of our life we start at teenage these science utsav people are very creative <laughs> request them to create a switch okay put it here put it here <laughs> and tell that when you are overthinking off and uh, overthinking stops you put on means 
you tell that yourself wherever you are sitting in a study room or you are sitting in a common room where your you know friends and parents are not there that's the time you overthink or if you are sitting in the same table every day in the classroom okay so you put a sticker that be here focus here don't overthink so even repeated cues also bring you back okay suppose if somebody is very sad you can put the sticker that smile your smile is beautiful you can stick that if somebody is losing concentration you stick that be here one hour no distraction so it's a like warning to ourselves so we may stop overthinking and overthinking can be part of anxiety disorders overthinking can be part of depressive uh, thinking so if that continues then take help Thank you so much, Dr. Viru Praksha. You have actually uh, managed to answer some of the very important questions and talk about some of the very important challenges that we as teenagers, I'm not a teenager, but the students uh, as